Hey folks, the third and final video. I had to break these up because I wanted to get to the point and uh, you know, I wanted to have a little more time to expound upon the information. I was rushing too far through. So situations where we use deadly force and then how to deal with a deadly force encounter, right? Because it's not just the shooting the person or you know people. It's also how to deal with the aftermath. There's, the, there's two parts to this video. That's why I kind of gave myself a little more breathing room. So uh, a couple situations you might find yourself in is uh, you're at the store, um, you know, Walmart or whatever, and uh, somebody's trying to rob, you know, let's just say a convenience store, make it easier. Somebody's trying to rob somebody. Now, all you see is the guy, you know, in his jacket, do this. He has like one of those. Hey, give me all your money or I'm going to shoot you. Well, is that deadly force? Absolutely. Does the guy have a gun? We don't know, but we assume he does because he's threatening another guy or gal. And uh, it looks like they're, uh, you know, about to commit a crime that involves deadly force. So absolutely, I want to save that other person's life and stop him from what he's doing. And again, the deal is we can't kill anybody. We are never legally allowed to kill somebody. We are legally allowed to defend somebody from death or serious bodily harm. That's it. That's the entire thing. If you do anything else other than that, it's instantly, you know, murder one or murder two. So take your chances where you can. Say the guy doesn't have a gun. Are you going to get in trouble? Yeah, probably. Um, are you going to get a murder one charge? No. The guy, you know, the guy was scared for his life. Oh, my God. This guy has a gun pointed at me in his jacket so nobody sees. I'd do that. I'd, I'll take that bet, man. If somebody's like, I'm going to kill you if you don't give me all the money in your register. That's a good time to draw down. And at the very least, say, drop your weapon. And put your hands to your side. Put your hands up. Whatever you want to do. But just know that you have a very small reaction time once the bad guy knows that you are armed to do what you got to do. Um, another situation, Sam in Walmart. And uh, I'm with my family. My my uh, girlfriend and her kids. My, my, my kids. You know, and uh, this one old, just say an old 65-year-old, 300-pound guy is in a push-along cart. And... Uh, you know, we get in an altercation about, you know, whatever. Uh, one of the kids bump into him and he's like, hey, you little bitch. Or, you know, whatever he says, some mean stuff. You know, I just say, back off, man. Well, he grabs her. Now, he grabs her and pulls her to him. Now, right then, do I have, a, do I have the, the opportunity, capability, and intent that he's going to harm my daughter in serious bodily way or kill her? No. Is he going to get the beating of a lifetime? Oh, yeah. Beat the hell out of that guy. Now... Say he starts reaching for something as he's grabbing her. My gun's out and on. On target. Now, does he pull out a cell phone? It may be. Does he pull out a weapon? Boom. He's getting shot. That's all there is to it. You know, there's imminent danger there. Um, so you got to know your limits. And you got to really be able to see what's going on, you know, second by second. To determine whether deadly force is justified. Because if not, you're going to be hemmed up couple real situations for you. A guy in a Waffle House, a uh, black gentleman, I was trying to get some grub. Waffle House, who the hell wouldn't want to get some grub? And uh, this white guy was being a, an asshole and a racist and was calling him the N-word and shit and then threatening him and tried to fight him. So he did. He went over and started trying to whip on this guy. The guy pulled his concealed carry and shot the guy and killed him. You know, he said, get the fuck away from me. No, 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 no. Pulled his gun, bang. Kid wasn't charged because it was self-defense, man. The guy tried to you know, give him serious bodily harm. So he defended himself. Now, a bad situation is when a lady, uh, it was on video and on YouTube. These are all on YouTube, by the way. Um, lady gets her purse snatched, right, by a guy. So somebody else, I don't remember who, shoots into a crowd of people at a T-intersection in a park, shoots at him three times, misses him every time. Yeah, is that justified? Hell no. There was no, nobody was going to, get hurt because some guy stole a purse. So you need to, you really need to know what you, that deadly force triangle is serious stuff. Um, other situations to consider, you're in a bar and in, in Minnesota, it's legal for me to carry in a bar as long as I'm not drinking and say I'm in there with enjoying lunch with my girlfriend or whatever. And you know, some guys uh, get in a bar fight, right? And one guy starts beating the shit out of this other guy. Do I have any right? Right then, do I have any right to step in and use deadly force? Absolutely not. I don't know what's going on. I have no clue of the situation. And I don't know what started the fight. Now, say the guy goes unconscious. The guy's getting his ass beat, goes unconscious. Then I have a reason to step in because he can no longer defend himself. So I have a right to say, hey, knock it off. Okay, no, I'm not going to. And he starts wailing on him more and more and more. 
And it's like, hey, this guy's going to kill this guy if nobody stops him. Well, is that death or serious bodily harm? Absolutely a potential for it, right? A very good potential. Beating his head off the bar stool or whatever, kicking him in the head. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna pull my gun and say, hey, knock it off. You know, you're staying there till the police get here. All right, well, then on the other token, uh, the guy says, hey, I don't want to fight anymore. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Even if he started the fight, yeah, he's going to get in trouble for assault charges, fifth degree assault charges in Minnesota, I just found out the other day. But he, the fight's over, man. He, he doesn't want no part of it, and the guy keeps going after him. It's time for somebody to step in. And if all you have is a gun, step in with it. Just be like, hey, stop what you're doing. You know, draw down. Make sure you have a safe distance. Draw the Tuller drill. If you don't know what that is, it's 21 feet. Uh, it's about five, three to five seconds for someone to get to you. So keep your distance. Say, hey, stop hurting that man. You know, have I'd have Jody, my girlfriend. I'd have her call the police. Hey, honey, call the police. You know. Hey, get down, get down. And if he runs out, he runs out, whatever. It's not your problem. But if he tries to keep hurting somebody, you need to stop him. Again, that's that's your call if you want to, you know, insert yourself in that situation. But if somebody goes unconscious or doesn't want to fight anymore, you have the right to help them defend themselves. It's another situation. Um, Sam by myself walking on the street and um, Sam in Minneapolis or St. Cloud and some guy starts some shit with me. I do not have a right just to pull out my gun, say, back the fuck up, I'm packing heat, motherfucker. No, I gotta say, hey, back off, back off, back off. Now, does he try to grab me? Or, hey, God forbid, he tries to grab my firearm. Like some, I bend over and I'm kind of chubby, so my firearm pokes up and he tries to grab it. Uh, that, that's intent to me. That's intent to uh, commit, you know, to grab my gun and do some harm with it. So absolutely, I'm going to defend that with deadly force. Uh, another situation, same same situation, though. Uh, the guy pulls a knife on me. Ha, da, 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 da. And here, here's the two for situation I'm going to give you. He pulls a knife on me, and he's close. There's, there's, uh, there's no reason to pull a knife somebody on somebody that you don't know uh, in a close proximity, you know, and and start look towards him or point the knife towards him. That's intent. That's intent to hurt you. It means you have the right now to defend yourself against whatever threat comes your way. So I do. I pull up and I shoot the guy, you know, and he drops. That's the end of it right there. I don't shoot him again. Say he's farther away, right? 21 feet or 30 feet or some shit like that. And he says, I'm going to get you or fuck you, motherfucker. And he's talking shit and he pulls a knife out. Well, obviously he's talking to me. He's coming towards me and I need to stop him. So I pull my gun and say, hey, stop. Stop what you're doing or I'm going to shoot you. Now, if he stops, say drop the knife. If he drops the knife. Situation over. Call the police. Um, if he keeps coming towards you, you know, though, and uh, he, the knife's still on the ground, but he's coming towards you. He's coming to do a bad thing. You gave him the opportunity to stop. It's time to defend yourself and quickly. So do it. Shoot once. And then if he keeps coming, shoot him again. As long as he keeping and trying to do you physical bodily harm, you keep stopping the threat until it's stopped, right? Or trying to stop the threat until it's stopped. If he makes it all the way to you, well, then you're in a fight for your life and you should have shot better, right? Now, say the situation's different. He has a gun and he's relatively close to you and, uh, you know, within 20 feet and he points it at you. Is that deadly force? Absolutely. Opportunity, capability, and his intent is where he's pointing the firearm. Now, say you shoot the guy and he falls down instantly because we already know if, if they keep trying to hurt you, keep trying to do you have a right to right and the ability to keep defending yourself until the threat is stopped you have to arrest the threat right stop the threat so you shoot the guy he fucking falls to the floor right oh my god you shot me his gun's still in his hand though okay what do i do well i tell him to drop the damn gun throw the gun away put the gun down whatever you got just like you hear on police videos all the time put the gun down do not leave the situation because he could shoot somebody else or god forbid or God forbid he shoots somebody else and you have to deal with that too because they're going to find your round and they're going to figure out it came from your gun. Trust me. They'll figure it out these days. So, whatever kind of weapon he has, if he just throws it away, you can go into the next stage. However, if he's on the ground and he has a knife and he starts crawling towards your ass, you can stop him. At that point, you can probably walk backwards. Until you have no more room, then you have to use more deadly force, right? If he has a gun and he starts pointing it up, Anywhere but throwing that gun away or setting it down or sliding it away from his body, his intent is to hurt somebody with that gun. Because you don't point a gun at something you are not willing to destroy, right? So, 
You stop him. Bang. One more round. Stop. Do not dump a dump a uh, you know dump a magazine into the guy. Okay. Now we know what we're supposed to do. If the threat is still there, we stop it with deadly force until we don't have to. Um, and we do it judicially. You know, we don't we just don't just dump rounds and we make sure. Hey, stop whatever you're doing. Good. I have about five minutes to this, ex describe this part. Okay. So after the initial sh the the shooting has happened, the tipping point. Now we need to deal with what's going to happen next, and it's a whole bunch of stuff. So we got to first off, we got to deal with the guy, and this the area and the situation. So first off, first thing you do is make sure there's no other threats around. I'm looking, you know, I'm drawn. I'm looking around. I got my gun pointed down at the guy on the ground. Okay, the gun or knife's away from him. Is there anybody else trying to do me harm right now? Is he part of a, a you know a group of people or whatever? Take care of them first, then deal with the asshole. Um, <coughs> say you uh, say there you have a buddy there. Tell him to call 911 instantly after the shooting happens, or even you know while you're telling him to back up. Hey man, call 911. I got this. After uh, everything's said and done and the, 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 the site is safe and secure, you go up to the individual and the gun's away from him. You either strip the gun down, pull the magazine out, and dump the round in the chamber, and then put it somewhere safe like your buddy or put it in your back pocket or a knife, fold it up, or just a knife, toss it against a wall. Wherever it's out of reach for nobody can get it and hurt you with it. Next thing you do is perform life-rendering aid. Whatever, sucking chest wound, Put something over it, put something on his back, you're good. Um, you know, he goes unconscious, the blood pressure dropped, and his heart stopped. Give him CPR, whatever you can do to save that asshole. I know it doesn't sound very nice, but man, you don't want to kill somebody. Nobody wants to kill nobody. You know, if you do, you need to go see a doctor. So, you know, perform life-rendering aid. And as you're doing that, uh, as you start doing that, not as you're in the middle of it, dial 911. Put it on speaker. Put it next to you. Put it up loud. Make sure it's loud so you can hear what they're saying and they can hear what you're saying. I'm doing CPR. Hey, I, uh, a guy tried to hurt me and I shot him. He's un And give him the situation. Uh, the assailant was struck once or three times in the chest. I need, uh, you know, I need an ambulance and police here immediately. And then give them the, your location. Do not give them other information. Why did you shoot him? The only information is he tried to harm me. He tried to hurt me. He came at me with a gun. He came at me with a knife. Whatever that very small information. He tried to hurt me with a knife. Why? And just say, he tried to hurt me with a knife. I'm at this location. Just keep repeating your location. Don't tell them a bunch of stuff about the situation because you can get in trouble for it later. Okay, now say you're performing life-saving aid. The ambulance gets there and the police get there. By now, your, your firearm should be holstered because you're administering aid and you're on the phone with 911. Once the police get there, say, the police have arrived, and don't do it until the police arrive. Stay on the phone until the police arrive. The, you know, an officer is here, I'm going to get off the phone with you. Thank you. Be courteous. Don't be a dick. They have a lot of stress in their lives. And the call, put it in your pocket. Go up to the officer, make sure your hands are up and available so he knows you aren't grabbing your firearm. Tell him very succinctly and simply what happened. The guy came at me with a knife, and, you know, he tried to, he tried to kill me. Or he pointed a gun at me and I shot him first and I, I uh, and then tell him point by point what happened. He fell down, I shot him, he pointed the gun at me again while on the ground, I shot him again. Okay, that's it. And, you know, what, what caused the situation? You know, honestly, officer, I don't feel comfortable explaining that. I'm going to invoke my Fifth Amendment right not to incriminate myself and I'd like to remain silent until I have a lawyer present. You can do that. If you feel comfortable with dealing with the situation and you know you weren't in fault, you can say, you know, it's my recommendation to do it the first way. I, I, I plead the fifth. I'd like to have my lawyer present before I speak to you. And just sit there silently. He's going to handcuff you, put you in your car. You're going to go there. They're going to have a lawyer there in no time. They're going to take your gun, no matter what, by the way. Okay, so do what you need to do to defend yourself, but be very conscious of these facts. And that's all very, very good information I've, I've collected over the years. I got no more time on this video so thanks for watching if you have any questions just email me dm me hit me on facebook wherever you see it anyways stay safe stay legal out there and above all you know defend yourself legally have a good one thanks for watching folks